When it comes to bridges and our city of Pittsburgh, it's more of a love-hate relationship these days. From the collapse of the Fern Hollow Bridge just one year ago to this week's sudden closure of the Charles Anderson Memorial Bridge. All this has a lot of drivers concerned and asking which one is next. All new at 6, Erica Stanish taking an in-depth look into nine bridges in particular. Yeah, all of these are currently listed in poor condition, but repairs aren't scheduled to begin for years. She's live in Oakland with how the city explains that. Erica. Yeah, several bridges listed in poor condition, including the Charles Anderson Bridge here, are slated for repairs in the future. This bridge was actually set to be replaced in the coming years, and now the city is speeding up that process. After learning rust and corrosion is so bad, it can no longer support the weight of cars crossing over it, hence the immediate shutdown. And now tonight, I'm asking the city about nine other bridges in question and if they can wait years before they're replaced. According to the city of Pittsburgh, dozens of major infrastructure projects are on standby until the projects and funding is approved by the Transportation Improvement Program and Southwestern Pennsylvania Commission. Of those projects, nine city bridges are on the list, all of which are listed in poor condition. Video showing rust on nearly all of them. They include the South Negley Avenue Bridge, the 28th Street Bridge, Larimer Avenue, and the Swindell Bridge. This was the view over the Parkway North in May, where crews were sent to the Swindell Bridge for an emergency inspection. It and many others are nearing a century old and appear to be in competition with many others over funding. Meanwhile, according to data provided by the city of Pittsburgh, it's awaiting results from several recent inspections from bridges all listed in poor or even serious condition. The Charles Anderson Bridge shut down three days ago, fast tracked for repairs based on inspection results showing it no longer has the strength to support the weight of vehicles. We asked the city if others could be bumped up for repairs sooner after learning most aren't slated for repair until 2025 through 2028. The mayor's office says as results come in, they'll continue to take immediate action as needed, saying safety is their top priority.